The Indian Space Research Organization has added another feather to its cap. ISRO's unmanned test flight for its first human spaceflight mission, Gaganyaan, successfully lifted off from Sriharikota, marking a landmark in India's ambitious space mission. According to the ISRO chief, a series of parachutes were deployed to ensure a safe touchdown of the launched vehicle. The Indian Navy, alongside a team of divers, recovered the module and brought it safely back to the shore. I am very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TVD1 mission. The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a, an abort condition for the crew escape system to function. Uh, it uh, took the crew escape system, took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations to the crew module separation from the crew escape system, all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this. A test vehicle day one mission was scheduled for liftoff from the first launch pad at 8 a.m. IST, which was revised to 8.45 a.m. But just five seconds before the launch, the countdown stopped. ISRO identified the flaw and successfully pulled off the test at 10 a.m. IST. The test launch is a stepping stone for the progress of the Gaganyan mission that will pave the way for other unmanned missions, including sending a robot into space next year. Uh, sending a manned mission with three astronauts into low Earth orbit will take place only after the successful completion of all tests. And according to an Indian government announcement last week, the launch is scheduled to take place in the year 2025. For more on this, Siddharth MP sends us this report from Sri Harikota. Take a look. There were weather-related delays and there were also technical glitches. Despite all of this, ISRO prevailed today and delivered a Saturday science thriller. So in two hours time, ISRO faced multiple setbacks owing to the weather and also an anomaly in the rocket engine ignition. But despite that, ISRO identified the error and what was supposed to be an 8 a.m. launch happened at 10 a.m. Although there was a two hour delay, the mission went on flawlessly and compensated for all the glitches that were faced. ISRO's team is entirely jubilant because their Gaganyan flight testing campaign has started off on a grand note and the mission is a complete success. So as planned, in 60 seconds, the separation of the vehicle and the crew escape system happened and thereafter around 90 seconds the crew escape system and the crew module separated and thereafter the crew module actually was gradually coming down with the help of 10 parachutes each one of them deploying in a pre-planned sequence and at 8.5 meter per second it precisely touched down you know almost 10 kilometers away from the spaceport where we are standing and now the Indian Navy is in an operation along with multiple other um, assets to actually uh, take this crew module recover it bring it on board their ship and then take it to the Chennai port which is the nearest port from Sri Harikota. So this is a complete success as far as ISRO is concerned. So test vehicle, although is a, an old engine, but packaged with a new body. So essentially it is a new structure that was flying today and it did its job flawlessly. This gives adequate confidence for ISRO to carry on multiple tests using the test vehicle. At least three more tests of this same rocket are planned, but under different parameters. The rocket will travel at different speeds. The ejection will happen at different altitudes. But this is what is going to be happening over the next couple of months. And perhaps by early 2024, as ISRO chairman has said, we could also see a full dress rehearsal of the Gaganyan astronaut program. But this time, when that astronaut program dress rehearsal happens, there won't be astronauts. Instead, there will be a robo within the crew module. So that's how ISRO is planning it. They want to go step by step. They want to ensure everything goes flawlessly. And today's test was also to ensure that under any circumstances, even if the vehicle is destroyed mid-flight, the astronauts can be saved. So that's the core objective here for Gaganyan. And ISRO is progressing well on their larger objective of human spaceflight by 2025. From Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.